Okay, so this video shows me building the stone fire pit in my backyard. I started in May of 2022. I started by digging out the high side because there's a big slope in my backyard. So I needed the high, high area to be dug down to make room for the gravel base. Uh, I dug down probably 12 inches uh, and eventually uh, got low enough, started to fill in with the gravel, used that tamper to compact it all gradually as I went. Um, it's amazing how many trips I had to make. There's just always more need for gravel. Then I eventually went and picked up the bricks to go on the perimeter. Eloise and Jonathan helped me unload. We had a lot of fun. Um, this is, you can see the base below the bricks. Uh, I used, the, I worked at night uh, to make the level more visible so I could make sure the bricks were all level. Uh, gradually worked on the perimeter. As I went, I used construction glue to uh, you know, lock each brick uh, to the neighbor ones and um, gradually just built it up from the low side to the high side. Um, it was kind of done at this point, I had to fill in more and more gravel. Uh, this was basically when I was done with the gravel. Uh, after this point, I went back to the quarry and got stones. I, I got really big flagstones, more expensive, but made the job a lot uh, faster. Wouldn't call it easy, but easier. I started by placing them around the edges, uh, tried to keep the big, keep the big stones intact, uh, use the dolly and whatever to move it around. Each piece I had to, you know, change the level of the sand underneath it to the, the limestone underneath it <clears throat> to uh, adjust each one. And uh, this just kind of shows as it gradually got filled in. Oh, and then I had the middle area. The middle area I left hollow because eventually I filled that all in with cement. Um, you can see that in a minute here, but there's the cement going in, in the middle. Um, you know, then I just basically started to cut all the small pieces. I've got a, this time-lapse video here shows how one section, you know, I wear the mask, I wear the headphones and the knee pads, etc. And I just had to cut each piece. This was like really painstaking because after you get the big pieces in, they, all the gaps need to be fit with uh, smaller stones. And you look for stones that kind of fit, um, but none of them really fit exactly. So you get one that fits close and then you cut off the corners or the edges that don't and um, then you have to level out the limestone underneath it and then you got to fit uh, this was me right after that job that was like the very last section i had to do this is called polymeric sand you put into the joints in it you put a little water in it and it hardens up and it seals it and weeds don't grow and ants don't get in and it just locks everything in place you can see it's all wetted down the stones look really pretty at that point um then i started to build that center ring of stones uh, you can see how I built it up and then I was basically done. I think I finished in October. So it was a five month project. Um, that's the beginning, right? And then that's the end. And then from the other perspective, the other side of it, uh, this shows the beginning of it. And then this shows the ending of it. And that's my fire pit 2022 a fun project.